All right, so let's talk about some um, steps that you can do if you're dealing with things on your own. Number one, talk to somebody who you know and try to get in and live with them. So I have a lease that I'm able to get on. I just need to sign the papers, get it, get right on it with my son. And um, his brother was able to get right on it. So we're doing that. Next, I would recommend the food pantries. I just did a video that got cut off that talks about uh, the food pantries. Every single week I'm welcome there, plus there's more. There's churches here. I also decide to, um, well, I do like to work. So I had a job yesterday I got, and I decide to get a second job. So I have applications going out to also work at night. Um, and then, let me see, what else? Okay, so then we're all pitching in and cash is available um, with my other sons and one of them owes me money too because he's on our insurance so I have that to do. I have a check coming in. Uh, the communication is not there right now in my marriage. Um, I don't know really what's going on so that's an issue but when that happens when you're not on the same page as your husband and things are breaking down what you want to do is you want to trust God. God is the one who takes care of you. And don't, I mean, you can't, you can't completely rely on people. You want to be able to take care of yourself in life. Okay, so that's what I got for you today.